Hello student, my name is Sridesh and you are watching my channel, Your Classroom at Home. If you really want to increase your mathematics skills, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel. A student, in today's lecture, I am going to solve a good question related to application of trigonometry. Question says, a ladder is rest against a wall. A ladder rest against the wall at angle alpha with the horizontal at an angle alpha with the horizontal if it foot is pulled away from the wall if its foot pulled away from the wall pulled away from the wall through a distance a through a distance a then it slides through a distance b down then it slides through a distance b down the wall making an angle making an angle beta with the horizontal beta with horizontal Then show that show that a upon b a upon b is equals to cos alpha minus cos beta upon sin beta minus sin alpha sin beta minus sin alpha. First of all, student, I will try to draw the figure of this question. Let's say this is the height of the wall AB. Let the height of the wall is X and a ladder is rest against a wall by making angle alpha. Let the foot of the ladder is at a distance of Y unit away from the wall let's say this point is C. in right triangle abc ac square will equals to square of ab plus bc therefore here ab is x and we have assumed that bc is y so x square plus y square will equals to square of ac now AC will be equals to under root x square plus y square by Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. Therefore, the length of the ladder is under root x square plus y square. Therefore, length of ladder is equals to under root x square plus y square. Now, if the foot of the ladder is pulled away through a distance a, then it will slide down through a distance b. Slide 
let's say this distance is b and this distance is a then the ladder will make an angle beta with the horizontal let's say this angle is beta then we have to prove that a upon b is equals to cos alpha minus cos beta upon sin beta minus sin alpha now consider right angle triangle a b c in right triangle a b c sin alpha will equals to a b upon a c a b upon a c is equals to sin alpha a b is x a c is under root x square plus y square this will be sin alpha let's say this is our first equation further in this triangle cos alpha will equals to bc upon ac bc upon ac will equals to cos alpha bc is here y and ac is under root x square plus y square equals to cos alpha let's say this is our second equation now consider right angle triangle b d e in right triangle b d e sin beta will equals to b d upon d e d e is length of the ladder which remain constant that is under root x square plus y square b d upon d e will equals to sin beta b d will equals to if this is x and this is b then b d will equals to x minus b therefore x minus b upon under root x square plus y square will equals to sin beta let's say this is our third equation now further consider right angle triangle d b e now try to find out the cos beta cos beta will equals to b e upon d e b e upon d e is equals to cos beta b e will be y plus a since b c is y and c e is a therefore b e will equals to y plus a this will be y plus a and d e remain the length of the ladder under root x square plus y square that will be cos beta this is our fourth equation now consider the right hand side cos alpha minus cos beta upon sin beta minus sin alpha this is our right hand side now put the value of cos alpha cos beta sin beta and sin alpha from 1 to 3 and 4 cos alpha is y upon under root x square plus y square this will be y upon under root x square plus y square minus cos beta is y plus a upon under root x square plus y square y plus a upon under root x square plus y square upon sin beta is x minus b upon under root x square plus y square x minus b upon under root x square plus y square minus sin alpha is x upon under root x square plus y square x upon under root x square plus y square now taking lcm in numerator and denominator under root 
x squared plus y squared. This will be y plus minus minus plus minus minus a upon LCM of these two parts will be under root x square plus y square. Under root x square plus y square. This will be x minus b minus x. Minus y plus y will cancel out. Minus x plus x will cancel out. And LCM is also cancel out. Therefore, this will be minus a upon minus b minus minus plus so this will be a upon b therefore lh is is also a upon b hence we have verified this real so student in today's lecture i have solved a good question related to the application of trigonometry so keep watching my videos and keep practicing thank you take care